Okay. Time to go. Oh my god. What the f just happened? <laughs> okay. We're eating a red tea. We're eating red tea. We're running. We're running. Okay. F you guys. I'm faster than you are. And I got one of these too. Eat that, mother. back everybody to the purge on rebirth on the bearded og and in this episode we're going to go do some more purging uh but we have another um crop here that's ready to go uh so let's harvest that first and uh yeah as you can see or as you saw rather in the opening montage there i have done some work on the base here so i finally got my storage situated and I also got to thinking after the last episode uh, concerning buying the uh, genetic books that what I probably really should be doing is I should be... Uh, let's use this. <laughs> I should be... Um, I really should be buying those books as soon as I level. Um, I've been, you know, kind of hoarding my money. And I mean H-O-A-R-D hoarding, not H-O-R-D. <laughs> H-O-A-R-D 
party that my money, um, you know, sitting on it for possibly buying the missions. And I got to thinking, you know, I'm going to be further ahead in the long run if I get those books as soon as possible. So I just, you know, strengthen my myself, my, my player, right, uh, to handle the increasing difficulty of the game. And yeah, I know sometimes it takes me a while to figure shit like that out. But the important thing is that I figure it out, right? And um, so what we're going to do is I've got a bunch of stuff that I don't, that I've been hanging on to that I don't need to. We're going to sell that and we're going to just start buying those books and we're going to continue to buy those books, raise however much money we need to until we've bought every one that we can for where we're currently at. And it seems to me like that makes the most sense to do that. Okay, that thing is completely full. Um, I did tag that, so let's repair that. And uh, what we're going to do is go down here and we're going to make more yucca seed. I continue to just convert all the yucca into seed until I feel like we have a nice supply of it. And in the meantime, we'll just, you know, keep doing what we're doing for, uh, you know, for drink. Okay, so um, as you can see here, I, I I cut out all of the, well, what was supposed to be the motor housing for the windmill. Uh, so that's cut out. I made steel storage. We just, you know, we didn't fuck around. We went straight to steel storage. And I've got everything situated and organized nice and neatly in these storage bins. And I added, let's see, I added... Yeah, I added you two towards the end, but everything that's in these two bins we're going to sell. It's just extra stuff that I don't, I, I just don't need. Uh, so that's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to buy as many more books as we can before we go out and start doing some more purging. The other thing we're going to do in this episode is we're going to give uh, the high powered ammo a try. Uh, so I've made some, as you can see, uh, because uh, Ramsey recommends it and the, uh, uh, I guess the idea is that, yeah, the AP ammo um, r ignores 50% of armor, but with this ammo, you have a chance, even though it doesn't, even though it doesn't say that in the tooltip, you have a chance of dismemberment, a higher chance of dismemberment. So the thing is, is let's say that I'm I'm shooting a you know a big ass um, armored cop zombie, and he's going to be really hard to kill unless I blow his head off. <laughs> if I blow his head off, he's dead. It doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully he doesn't rebirth. So I, I, I kind of see the point, but I want to try it and I want to get a feel for it and see if I, I feel like it's, um, you know, uh, if it works for me, right? Cause, cause I, I like the AP ammo. It, it does work, but it's goddamn expensive too, man. Really expensive. So the HP ammo is a little bit cheaper than the AP ammo. So we'll give it a try and we'll see how, how, how it goes. I have more materials to make even more ammunition. Let's see. I got that stuff in here. Uh, so we can, you know, we have 524 more bullet casings and a, a shit ton of, um, you know, gunpowder and bullets. But I want, before I make any more, I want to try the AP and decide if I like it first. Uh, I'm sorry, try the HP and see if I like it first before we, you know, make more. And if I like it, then we'll make more HP. If I don't, then we'll more, make more AP. Okay, so let's see. We'll grab... Uh, the seeds out of here, and uh, looks like we need a large stone to to fix that. We have four more yucca seeds, and so let's remove uh, let's remove these coffee plants here. I don't know if this if that's actually going to get light. Of course, I'm not 100% sure that this will either. Um. So let's just, uh, you know, obviously I can't check that until nighttime. So let's just put these four here. Because eventually, at least for the short term, I'm probably going to plant this entire garden in Yucca, even though some of it won't um, catch light. Now, here's another thing you guys told me in the comments, too. You said you don't have to have the light facing down. Um, I can't. I could actually put it down flat. So... That being the case, um, you know, maybe we should see if we can add some more lights and then, you know, light up these other parts of the garden. But I don't want to mess with that right now. Let's just leave it the way that it is. That's something I can, you know, work on off camera. Okay, so we're going to put those guys in there. This ratchet is very close to... Uh, we don't need to eat. And by the way, I made three Purinas. I made three quick, 
quick a chicka chowders, but I ate one of those. Uh, so we're doing pretty good on food. Um, and I've got some more distilled water. I've also been risking drinking just boiled water, and so far I've been lucky. I haven't, you know, gotten dysentery, but if I do get dysentery, you know, this has uh, a 20%, I guess it removes 20% of the time that you're sick, maybe. I guess that's what that means. Um, so, you know, we have that, and of course I could make some goldenrod too, but, you know, eventually we'll be able to make this stuff at pretty much it will we just have to get the tabletop stove and again i'm stubborn i want to find that in loot i don't want to buy the mission for it i'm not saying i won't ever do that but i want to you know hold out just a little bit longer because that's what i want to do <laughs> that's that's all you need to know okay uh let's see here so we need to repair this so let's grab a bone here so maybe someday I'll come across a real knife. I haven't yet to see one in the purge, but supposedly you can find them in toilets. Um, so there's that. And this is about halfway. Um, I did actually kill a horde with my axe. I went out on the road because I can run, you know, I can run really fast now. And the horde didn't have any buffers. And so I just led them out onto the road. And why is there a red dot right there? Um, do we have a, oh, God damn it. Do we have a horde? I think we do. Whoop. Yep, we do. Oh man, this is such a pain in the ass. Um, is it just a boss horde though? Or what is it? Here, let's get this out. I'm hearing weird noises. Noises... Yeah, look at that. Those guys have, like, fire hands. I don't think I've seen that before. Are we getting attacked? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a... That's a Huzuma, was it? I thought I wasn't supposed to see those assholes till I was level 50. What the hell, man? That's uh What do they call them? <laughs> I'm so... I'm so, like, confused that I don't even remember what to call them things. Uh, Seekers. That's a Seeker, right? Is that a Seeker? Oh my god. Uh I wonder if I can use HP ammo on the seeker's head and blow it up. Okay, uh let's do this. <laughs> this game, man. It's like, you know, I, I think I I put a little slogan in one of my videos earlier. Maybe I entitled the video, I don't remember, but it's like you know, OG plans and then Ramsey laughs. <laughs> it's like what the fuck, man? Oh god. Alright, here. Let's, um, pick you up and jump on you. Uh, jump on you, please. Go. Okay. Ah, uh, oh my God. Okay. I think that's a seeker, isn't that? I mean, he's like blowing up, right? Okay, let's move to this. Uh, thank goodness I've got those extra blocks down below. Okay, time to go. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Mama, okay, we're eating a red tea. We're eating red tea. We're running. We're running. Okay, fuck you guys. I'm faster than you are. And I got one of these too. Eat that, motherfucker. Holy shit. Okay. Now, can I blow his head up? Did I not read? Oh, is he dead? Uh, no, he's just knocked over. Did I not read somewhere that they don't show up till we hit level 50? I'm not level 50. I'm only level 30. Maybe it's level 30. Hey, you, you're not allowed. Man, where are you guys coming from? 
All right, wait, where did the secret guy go? Oh. He's a buffer. Did we actually kill him? Oh, we killed him! Hell yeah! All right, nice, yay us! Holy shit, <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, all right. Uh, so, I don't know if we actually blew his head off with the HP ammo. Or maybe we just, maybe his hit points ran out and we just flat out kill him, I don't know. Oh no you don't, bitch. Give me your thingy. No, not that thingy. Alright, did these other guys bugger off or what the hell? God, look how fast I am. This is awesome. You know, screw the mini bike. We just, <laughs> we just need to pop a red tea next time a horde shows up. Yeah, I guess well, okay, we got a we have a buffer here. I almost wonder if this was a different horde though, because they started coming from the side. All right, I guess I guess that's all of them. You know, while we're out and about, uh, one of you thought I might have. You weren't sure, but you thought I might have left some loot in the dumpster over here by the tool store. And I don't remember if I did or not, so we're going to check. Nothing in there. Search. Oh, look at that. We did. God bless you. <laughs> you were absolutely right. Look at all that shit. I think we're going to sell all of it. Well, maybe not all of it, but most of it because I already have a pretty decent representation of all that stuff. This is where you said to check for small engines. Now guys, I want to repeat something. Uh, I've gotten multiple comments about this. You cannot, unless somebody can confirm this, okay? Nobody has confirmed it yet. You cannot get a small engine from washing machines and dryers. You can get a small motor. That is not the same thing as a small engine. Okay, small engine, different. Like Briggs and Stratton gasoline engine. All right, so there you go. If I'm proven wrong, I'll be happy to be proven wrong because it'd be good to actually get them from there, but I have never found one, but I've, almost, I've found small motors a lot. Okay, so there you go. And like I said, if I'm wrong about that, I'll be very happy to be wrong about that. But I don't think I am. Uh, all right, now. Uh, <laughs> God, what were we even doing, man? That, like, so threw me for a loop. Um, They didn't really do too much damage down here, though. I think we caught it pretty quickly. But having these extra blocks around here is, is very helpful. I mean, I'll eventually get them all upgraded to... To concrete and the outer layer upgraded to steel. Uh, no, actually to explosion resistance. But, wow. Okay, so I must have misunderstood. I thought we didn't get Seekers until 50, but I guess it's 30 that you get Seekers. That's what I'm thinking the deal is. Let's go back upstairs and let's um, put away anything that I just looted that we want to keep. And then we've got... We're going to have multiple loads of shit to sell. Now, uh, again, my HP ammo, I didn't notice it take off any heads. That doesn't mean it didn't. I just didn't notice it. So the jury's still out as to whether or not I'm going to use it over AP. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so see, I've got all of these tools here. Um, We don't need all of those. And look how much this will sell for, too. Do I have any extra saw blades? Yes, I have three extra saw blades. Um, those should probably actually go in tools, though, you know, there is crossover. Let's just keep two extra saw blades. I don't see any reason why I would need more than that. Uh, we already have four screwdrivers, so we might as well sell these screwdrivers straight up. 
We have an extra bellows. Let's let's hang on to two bellows. Why? I have no idea. I'm just going to do it. And what about anvils? Do I have anvils in here? I, oh, shit. I got anvils and bellows in here. Um, tell you what. Let's move all the workstation thingies over to tools. You could make an argument that they could go in either one, but, you know, like I said, there's some crossover to all of this. And we have two bellows. That should be plenty and maybe two extra anvils. I just don't see a reason. Oh, God, look how much those are going to sell for, too, to have anything more than that. All right. Diapers. Um, Let's keep four diapers. Can we sell those? Yeah, we'll keep four diapers. Well, you know what? They don't sell very, mu very much. Let's just keep all of them. Zombadoodle heads. Uh, sh yeah, I don't want to do quick stack because it's going to put some stuff in there that I want to keep. So let's put the Zomba Doodle heads in here. Uh, wait a minute. I should have. Oh, yeah, I was going to say I should have a whole mess of explosion resist. Let's put those in resources. In uh, clothing and schematics, we want to put these in and we can also do a melee expertise book. So let's actually do that now the silver is used to make some of the mods so we want to keep that and we'll call that a part so we'll put that in there these are all parts um mechanical electrical we got so many of those i think we'll just sell the ones that we currently have and yeah everything else i think we're just going to sell plus we got all of this like i said it's going to take me several trips to take all of this stuff down and we're, and we're going to have to go to, well, we might be able to get it all done at one trader because we have the extra NPCs we can also sell to. Anyway, let's read this uh, or make this. And we want this for axes, of course. And that'll get us some more points and axes. I did get to, uh, I did get to level two in axes when I was fighting that horde. And by the way, I thought I was recording that but apparently I wasn't. So I was going to actually show some of that, but I didn't record it. So I can't show it. You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> uh, but, we, you know, we did kill uh, a bunch of hordes out on the road with the axe. Took me a long time because I don't do a lot of damage with the axe, but we got the we got the job done. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, here, let's read this. And then that should have given us more... Yeah, that gave us 19, 19.04%. Uh, well, actually, it gave us 10%, I think. Uh, all right, so the rest of this we are going to sell. Um, why don't we pop a couple vitamins here just to get that topped off? And let's have a tamale hash, too. That should get our food just about all the way topped off and our hydration in pretty good shape. Oh, we have radiation poison. That's why I don't have health cap. Okay, we know how to fix that. Drink a Prussian brew. Blue. Prussian blue. There we go. Radiation fixed. It's a beautiful thing. Um, oh, God damn it. I just hit the wrong button. I meant to hit the sword button. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, just somebody shoot me, please. Send another seeker my way. I deserve it. All right, God damn it! We're gonna pick all of this shit out of here. I'm gonna hang on to two of my best orange hammers, which are probably those. Uh, I guess we'll hang on to one wrench. Don't ask me why. We already have two uh, electrical these things, wire tools, so we're good to go there. And I think that puts us kind of back where we were with that stuff. All right, let's also grab everything out of here except for, I guess we can sell a torch. And then all of this stuff we want to sell too. So what I'm going to do is grab... Um, yeah, let's grab all the ammo. And then all of the items that we picked up because we just don't need them. We have so much shit. And where's Nick? Oh, Nick, you're you're not Nick. We need to make you Nick again. Uh, Nick did die, by the way. 
when I fought that horde, so that's why Nick is not Nick. But now Nick is Nick. And everything's right with the world. Ah, okay, so hit that button. Uh, I don't want to sell any of this stuff. So let's just give Nick a bunch of wiring tools and some other stuff to hang on to. Okay, so this is... Those are resources. These will go in clothing and schematics. And sort that. I, I don't I don't know if we really need to hang on to an a extra set of armor. Because here's the thing. If we die, we make that teleport to backpack mod. And it, it gets all of our shit back instantly. So... It's questionable as to whether or not we, we need those, but I'm going to hang on to them for the time being because we do have the space, so why the hell not, right? Okay, let me go down and dump off uh, a load into the mini bike, and then I'll come back up and get another load. And then we'll head over to the trader and see how much bank we can make, and then we're going to buy ourselves some attribute books. All that stuff we're going to sell, too. All right, let's sell the Breston first. Uh, oh, it's got special mission for us. What is it? Cybernetics silent search schematic. Trader Networks have push, ha, has pushed their experimentation even further. They've been using zombies as a way to get rid of their competition and are now using cybernetics to fight alongside the undead. We've been able to put enough of a defense against zombies or put up enough of a defense against zombies, but this is a, now a new threat. Ever wonder why their traders never get attacked? Suspicious, isn't it? Please go and investigate their use of these new prototypes so we know what we'll be up against. By completing this mission, you will be rewarded with the following schematics, a silencer schematic and two diamonds. This may prove to be quite difficult. If you fail the mission, come back and give it another go. Difficult? Oh, man, there's nothing difficult about Rebirth. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yeah, no way. Okay, let's get 12 of those. And, all right, before we start selling, we are currently sitting at... $6,872, make you holla. And we are going to buy one of these mineshaft schematics too. But let's sell first and see how much money we end up with. All right, so it doesn't look like they want leather trunks or rusty barrels. Let's uh, grab all of the stuff out of here. All right, we'll see if Preston wants any of these wiring tools. And he doesn't want a hammer. Let's grab everything out of here. Okay, he's done with wrenches. If you're wondering why I'm not putting these mods on weapons first, what weapons? You may have noticed that weapons are extremely rare. And any that I have found are so low level that it wouldn't matter anyway. So we're just selling mods straight up. Okay, so now all we have left at this trader is Wreck Depot. You better buy something. You again? What? You got a fucking crush on me or something? I would like to crush you, but a crush, no. Okay, so that's it. So we sold almost everything. And all that gawking at goods there are and two more traders, you, you know, that we could go to and sell this stuff, or we could just hold on to it and sell it later. Um, yeah, I I have no interest in a leather trunk. These we might keep. Okay, so that we ended up with ten thousand four hundred and thirteen dollar Mikaela. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is buy this. Okay. And then I guess we mine shaft. What's do these have any instructions? Set this unit down to deploy a mine shaft. This is the same thing, it's just a stronger version, I guess. And a mine shaft extension. Set this unit down to deploy a mine shaft extension. Okay, uh, what exactly does the extension do, though? And do we put it underground? I wonder if it has, like, an area of effect and the extension just increases that area. That's what my guess would be. 
Let's go back to his inventory. Okay, we have 5688. Now, I was kind of regretting that I didn't take Sexy T when I was trying to fight those Zombos. So we're buying one of those. Um, I want an Iron Gut. Except for we can't now because we don't have enough money. So we'll we'll do an iron gut later, I suppose. But we could do a... Uh, we could do another... Or no, I don't think we can do a cardio. Let's do a mother load. Yeah, let's do a mother load. Okay, so now our MO moving forward is I'm going to earn money... And as soon as I have enough money, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to keep buying all of these books for each one of the uh, genetic classes until I have everyone that I can get for the level that I'm at. And I, you know, I should have been do doing that sooner, but should have cut a woulda. It's better late than never, right? All right, let's read this. This will give us um, better melee and mining stamina. And this will give us more, 10% uh, more uh, material when we're, when we're mining. Very good. Okay. Let's go home and um, see if we can figure out what the deal is with this mine shaft. We have to make it first, and then we're going to go purging. Oh, we need torches. Okay. Those are, those are pretty cheap. Why don't we just make a, a wood one for now just to see what it's like, and then we'll make a cobblestone later. I wonder if Zombos a t uh, target them, though, and that's why we can have a stronger one, maybe? I mean, that's a pretty decent-sized chunk of cobble. So we need to make six torches. And we just do that in our inventory. I have, uh, I, I have the one, I had another one over here somewhere, didn't I? Well, I thought I did. It'll, if it doesn't show up in the thing, then we'll... What did I do with that other torch? Here, let's put all these back in here for now. I might run down to the other trader's off camera, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, God, I can't remember. Oh, I, I must have sold it. Oh, well, that, well, I had no idea I was going to need it, so can't blame me, man. Okay, so let's do... Um, mine shaft. We have... Two. Oh my god, it needs 200 nails. <laughs> wow. Um, this does not, actually. Oh, fuck it. Let's just make a cobblestone one. What the hell? Okay. I can always get more cobblestone. Now, we expended a pretty decent chunk of ammo on that horde. If we look at this... Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of those left. Um, why? Okay, hold on. HD. 762. No, not 7,2. 762. High power. Oh, eight, yeah, it's HP, not HD. Duh. All right, let's make some more of those, and how many more can I make? We can make 344. Let's make, say, 200 more of these. Because, like I said, I, I, I couldn't really tell if we were blowing up heads, and I didn't notice Rampage proc at all. I thought it was supposed to proc... I, I think... Let's see if I... I'll have to go back and watch Ramsey's video again, but I think he said if you... If you pop three heads within a certain period of time, then Rampage will, will proc. But obviously that didn't happen. All right. Let's go ahead and look here. There's a nitrate over here. 
Let's go put this on that nitrate and see what it does. Um. Okay. What do I do? Do I... We can't do that because it'll break. Are there any directions at all? This... Uh, no, not the fucking torch. Set this unit down to deploy a cobblestone version of a mine shaft. All right. Oh. So. Oh, my God. So does it just, it doesn't, okay, so this isn't an auto miner thing, it just creates the shaft and gets the mine started. Interesting. Hmm. I gotta be honest with you, though, I don't know if that's worth a thousand cobblestone. It's kind of cool, but I wouldn't say it's essential. <laughs> Hmm. It, it, I mean, it's, it is neat. I'm not saying it isn't. And, it, you know, it sets up this little thing so we have a fighting position if Zeke's come in. Not that this is going to hold any of the hordes that come through in the purge. You know, forget about that. <laughs> You're dead no matter what. Uh, I, I would imagine I could upgrade this, though. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of cool. But it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like an auto, you know, extractor like we have an Undead Legacy. So, okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. We got a, a place. Uh, oh, shit. We got a place we could get up on top, too. I mean, that's all fine and good, but God, we would have to upgrade this to even have a slight prayer of holding off a horde in the in the perch. So, yeah, there's that too. Maybe maybe that's the intent, I don't know. Okay. Mine shaft, yeah. Interesting. I'll use it. I mean, sure, why not? Uh when I when I finish exhausting my other nitrate mine, which I have not done yet. Okay, let's go back and get our High power ammo, and let's go do a perch. Why is this guy at my base again? All right. Um. Oh shit, he's coming up the ladder. That's another seeker. The fuck, man. We killed him. It used another shit ton of ammo, though. What do we get? A lot of money. How? Wait, if, how did he even get in here in the first place? There is some weird voodoo witchcraft going on here, man. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, now we only have that much HP ammo left. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't even know how he got in here. He should not have been able to fit through that doorway. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, let me... Let's go drop this stuff back off. How much money do I got, though? Okay, 1451. 
I was just getting ready to head out and I started going down the ladder and I saw that. <laughs> wow. I don't know, man. I'm I'm starting to think maybe I should use AP ammo on that guy. Because I'm not seeing no heads blowing up. And we're just burning through that ammo like crazy. Let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, can I put this armor plating on something? Yeah, we should be able to put it on almost just about anything here because we have a lot of... I should keep that for exchanging. Uh, we have a lot of mod slots. All right, well, let's grab a few more of those. All right, try this again. I mean, how often are those guys going to start showing up? My God. Got a lot of repairing to do. I don't have any concrete at the moment. But that's like two seekers in the space of what? 20 minutes? In the same episode? Dude. What? What the hell? <laughs> Alright. Um. We never finished purging this place. I guess we should probably do that since it's the next closest place. We might as well. I've killed some of the Zeeks here. But not all of them. Oh, shit. All right, well, I guess we'll take one of those. I was a day late and a dollar short on that, huh? Did we kill him? I just feel like I'm, I'm not in control of this situation. <laughs> Welcome to Rebirth, right? Okay, so I've cleared all the zombies out of the Quonset huts, and I got all of the... Uh, you know, crop plot or farm plots out of there. So we can get some eggs. Nice. All right, let's go in this barn. Hell yeah! All right! We just got our own shredder! And to think that thing's been across the street this whole time! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Okay. I'm sure there's going to be Zombadoos up above. Um, I was attacked by a dog here earlier, so... It was probably that dog's doghouse. There's a decent amount of material in here. Well, that is a really nice find. Very happy to finally get our own shredder. What kind of devilry is going to happen down here? That kind. Ah, this looks like the the vanilla bunker. It's almost exactly like the vanilla bunker, the one where you can kind of you know come down through there. All right, let's loot. Ooh, that is some good stuff. Come on, give us an axe and machine gun, please. Oh no, those are fragments. Okay, that's fine because then we can make our own axe and machine gun. I, I thought those were the ones that give us the actual books. All right, let's load all this stuff. Pick everything up we can sell. OK, 
Okay, that's it for out here. Ammo in the gut pile, baby. Ammo in the gut pile. Alright, that's all we're gonna do in here. Pick this up to sell it. And these guys. I don't know how to set down a dryer. When you know you pick these things up and they always set down as washing machines and not dryers. Oh, there's more brass, nice. Okay, that stuff we're just going to be selling because we have plenty of it. Let's take this. No more Zikaroos in here, huh? Did we check to see how much lockers sell for? I don't remember. They sell for 15. Okay, not too bad. Not super great, but not too bad. There's leather down here we could harvest, but I have, I think I have three full stacks of leather so far. There we go. Almost. Oh, just a little more that way. Oh, not that much. Ooh, this one's picky. All right, let's try there. Got it. Uh, okay, tier three expertise book bundle. And we'll pick the safe up. Sledgehammer and machete. Worthless as fuck. Not really, but at the moment. I know I can save those and spec into them later. I am aware of that, but it's just not what I want to do right now. I've had some people in the comments say, you really ought to be doing other weapons too. I don't agree with that. I understand the concept behind it. But guys, I need to get strong as a soldier before I worry about other classes. And so I'm going to stick with soldier at least until level six before I even consider another class. Is that the smartest thing to do? I don't give a fuck. It's the way I'm going to do it. So there you go. End of discussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's go um, up top side in the barn, and then we'll go into the house. No zombies in here at all, huh? Wow. They're all waiting for us in the house, I guess. Okay, so yeah, we could definitely come back here off camera and get all that stone. That would be a worthwhile thing to do. We have 13 Zeeks left. I guess... Did we come... Th yeah, I guess we came through here looking for the hot or the tabletop stove but it looks like i only did the ground floor so we need to go up let's also grab all these doors so i don't forget lots of brass there There's also, oh, okay, so there's a basement here as well. Let's go upstairs first, and then we'll do the basement later.
Oh shit. Okay, time to go. Time to go outside, that is. We have a buffer. Gotta prioritize him. And I can run fast, so you guys can fuck off. Do 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 We need the buffer. I mean, as long as he's not buffering them. Did you rebirth? Or did I just not make sure you were dead? Okay, that was an exploding head. You know, god damn it. Now what? Oh, just more zombies inside. Yeah. You know, the thing, though, about the high-powered ammo is 90% per of the time, I'm going for headshots anyways. So... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely killing these guys. And it's definitely better than normal ammo. Um, that's apparent, but... The question really is, is, oh shit, is it as good as armor piercing? And I don't, I, I still haven't made that determination yet. And I'm not seeing a lot of heads blowing up either, so it's not happening as frequently as I would like it to. Well, his head did blow up. So one of these fire assholes caught the house on fire. That's kind of funny. Oh shit. It estimates that there's only four left. All right, Nick. There we go. It's nice having those extra slots. That's for oh, sure. Well, should we go downstairs while we're waiting for those guys to burn upstairs? Did we? Oh my god, look at all that cement. Holy shit. What the hell's going on down here? This is crazy. Okay, let's uh let's grab this. Come on, small engine. Oh, you know what, though? Damn it, Jim. I need the small engine in my normal Rebirth playthrough. <laughs> Not this one. I mean, they're useful, right? For sure, but... It's my normal Rebirth playthrough that I really need a small engine in. Because of this guy. Um, I have a cement mixer that I looted, but I can't do it. I can't repair it without, you know, the small engine thing. Let's get some cement, man. I really need this. This is this is a huge amount of cement. I love it. Okay. I think we hit all of the lootable boxes down here. We'll grab these for selling. Don't see anything back here. The house is on fire. Okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for this to burn and flush the Zeeks out, if it flushes them out at all. Nick, what are you doing? And yeah, we just used the water to put the fire out on Nick. I wonder if we could 
pull up onto the roof and try and shoot them through the window because I kind of don't want to just sit here and not do anything, you know? All right, where are you, bruh? I don't think this fire hurts the zombies. If it, or if it does, it does very little damage to him. It hurts me and Nick, that's for sure. Yeah, I still, I still can't see him. I have no idea where he's at. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to. Nick, how did you get up here? My dog can nerd pull. He's a very talented dog. I think we're just going to have to wait for the house to burn down and we'll come back and get the rest. So while that's happening, I'm just going to go back and drop some stuff off. Let's make a bunch of concrete mix because we need it for repairs. And we'll just do that and blip everything into its area. I just had... Um, a stutter, so does that mean we have another horde? Could, but let's finish doing our thing here first. Also, um, where, how do we, how do we fix it? Or rather, what do we use to fix this? Repairable shredder. Uh, shredder. Oh, same thing as this. Okay. Uh, we got, we got the goods. Hot damn. All right, I've got uh, a propane tank, obviously, over at the trader, so we'll just go grab that tank and bring it back here, and then we can do all our shredding at home now. It's a damn good day when you can do all your shredding at home. A damn good day indeed. Oh, we just I just realized we got an upgraded robotic, too. I'll take it. Uh, What's the difference? Not a huge amount, but it's a little bit. It is a little bit indeed. Okay. Let's actually take that right now. And, yeah, I'll deal with that when we get back. Oh, yeah, Nick, we got to do your inventory. And we'll do that. And actually, yeah, I don't need to take um, uh, brass and lead over to the trader now. We'll just put it in there because we can do our own shredding. Uh, no, I want you to go. I'm still trying to get used to my new setup here. Weapons and tools. That could go in there. Okay, let's go back down and see if we have company. No, we're good. Okay, that'll give me a, ch give me a chance to uh, repair some stuff here. Let's grab uh, you and you, and we want, yeah, we want to keep this stuff for scrapping as well. I'll just put you in my handy dandy drop chest here. Okay. Um, how about we go to the trader, and we'll come. Yeah, let's go to the trader, and when we come back, that place should be com pretty much completely burnt down. And then we'll kill the rest of the Zeeks and finish the perch. All right, Briston, give us a little ammo exchange, buddy. And I'm going to trade you some more shite. That gets us up to 24. We need to be up to 27 before we can get another book. But we're we're working it, working on it. We're getting there. Grab our propane tank. Whoop. I suppose I should come over here at some point and try and fix that fence. Got the shit beat out of it. Grab all of that too. Alright, nice. Oh, hi Nick. So I'm just fell out of the sky. Oh, off.
off with his head, man. Oh, airdrop. It's airdrop time. This is going to be interesting. You guys ready for me to die horribly? Oh, boy. <laughs> we got to get it, though, man. <laughs> we got to get that fucking thing. It's got... The stuff it has in it is just too important. Um, all right. So, here's my strategy. What we're going to do is I'm still going to try and pull the bulk of them away from it. You know, away from it. And just kill any hangers on until we can hopefully... Man, it's dropping almost in the exact same spot it did last time. Until we can hopefully, you know, ninja it and, and then get out of dodge. Fuck off, pig. That pig's gonna force me to kill him. Resume. Get him, Nick. Oh my god! Can't believe how fast that guy was running. Holy shit. Oh yeah, see the zombies are already coming to us. Uh oh oh boy. Red tea time. You know, we could actually get that bear maybe to work in our favor here. Okay. Where are y'all at? I'm going to start opening if you're not here. This isn't going to work. No, nope, this is not going to work. <laughs> we tried. All right, let's let's round these motherfuckers up. It's interesting that we're seeing fire zombs now that, you know, ever since we turned level 30. And we got another big mama boss too. I don't know if I want to waste ammo on her. I think I want to just pull her away. In fact, you know what? Here, come here, Nick. Just come with me, buddy. I cannot believe how fast these pigs are running. Okay, let's pull them away even farther. You know, if you're gonna come at me by yourself... You're going to get an axe in the head. You too, asshole. If you haven't noticed, I'm way faster than you are. Not him, though. God damn it, those pigs are fast. All right, let's come around this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell, man? I guess, is it because it's nighttime? I just don't... I don't ever re remember seeing those pigs being so fast. I don't want to stop and butcher them right now. We gotta, we gotta stay on task here. Let's draw these fuckers a little further out. And then we're gonna try and circle around and go back and ninja the loot. But I'm sure they're gonna probably have some... Some bad bads guarding it. I mean, you, you know, we can pick off the stragglers. Might as well. Get a little more axe skill going here. And I haven't seen any buffers yet. Big Mama's got 3,700 hit points. Let's go back. Uh, 
I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Nope. Damn it, Jim. All right. Don't rebirth. Not allowed. Well, you know what? If we have to kill all of these guys, we'll kill them all. I don't care. Oh, he rebirthed. I told you not to rebirth. You don't listen. Okay. Uh, let's take a, ba a big bandage. How's our red tea doing? Pretty good. No rebirthing. Okay, she didn't rebirth. We're getting this drop, man, come hell or high water. Is she gonna rebirth? Okay, no rebirth. Oh god, you're big. Uh how many hit points? Doesn't even tell me. Okay, let's let's pull her away. Oh! I lost control of my mouse for a second there. <laughs> that was like the worst time for that to happen. Oh man. It's a comedy of errors, I tell you what. Okay, let's wait for her to get down to the intersection, then we're gonna zip on by her. And uh, also, I want to, well, here, let's go. We need to refresh our red tea here in a second, too. Well, actually, do we even need it, though? If we're not getting rushed by 50 Zeeks, we have pretty fast movement speed just straight up, right? Okay, here's a guard. There's the big mama. Big Mama, I would kill you. I just don't want to expend all the ammo on you. See, those guys are kind of stuck. You know, the one bad thing, though, is if we get a... If we get a Screamer show up, that's going to complicate things. All right, let's take another red tea. I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. That other boss lady's right there. I was going to say, she's got to be around here somewhere. Let's just start whittling him down. Steel axe quality four. Nice. If we can get him down to just the two bosses, then we can draw them way off and then come back and get the loot. That's my strategy. Hey, don't rebirth. You gonna rebirth? Nope, she's not rebirthing. Okay. Okay, we'll get a little stamina back. Kind of hard to separate the little ones from the big ones because the big ones are fast. Alright, Edgar, here, fuck you. Fuck you very much. Okay. Edgar, did you rebirth? 
Okay. Yeah, Edgar's down. Soldier's almost down. One more hit. Okay, don't rebirth. Okay. Now it's just the big ladies. So, uh, what do we do with our bike? It's way back there. Okay, let's just pull them way down the street here. See, this, uh, this horde does not seem to be anywhere near as bad as the one before. But we did have screamers at the one before, you know, and it escalated, so there is that. I don't, I, I don't think I want to bother trying to kill these two because, I mean, I could, but there goes our ammo, right? I could try and axe them, but God, how long is that going to take? I can't even see her health bar. Okay, let's go. If we have any little Zika Riz, I'm just going to blast them. I think we're I think we're good. There are more of them around, but that one anyway is not gonna get to me before I get into here. Got it. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Is it just you? Alright, have an axe sandwich. So it said we could make a level four. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll do that. I've got plenty of those resources. There's no reason not to. I think we killed them all except for the two boss ladies. All right, let's uh, let's get a little further away from them and circle back, and then we'll look at our loot. Okay, what do we have here? We've got two DNA, uh, Charisma DNA boosts. We've got a vehicle plow mod. We have a hung, oh, nice, hunger and thirst. Yeah, take that. A triple pocket. Um, We got a repairable gas stove. <laughs> what? Oh my God. I think Ramsey feels bad for picking on me with two, not one, not three, but two Seekers in this episode. And so he has gifted us what we've been looking for for several episodes. OMG. Guys, this has been a damn good episode, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a game changer. That is a game changer. Uh, let's close that. Fan frickin tastic. Okay, so what this means, in case you don't know why I'm so damned excited that I got the tabletop stove, is it means we can now sustain and make the really good drinks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh, we're going to have to pick this up. And I'm going to set it down right here. And I don't think I'm going to put it up on top of anything because it's already kind of tall with these implements. And then we're going to put the tabletop stove up here. Uh, oh, do I have to repair this? Yeah, it's a repairable. Okay, no problem. We can do that. Uh, gas stove, start. Lemon squeezy. Oh, fucking A, man. I am a happy camper right now. Let's have some pumpkin pie to celebrate. Besides, it's almost Thanksgiving anyways. At least in the U.S., Okay, while we're waiting on that, let's grab our injector and juice up a little bit with some charisma. Very good. Okay, so that should get us to around 50-something, I think. Uh, 66. Okay, so that means we would need to buy four more um, injections from Briston to get to level two. Then we can read the book, then we can get a second dog. <sighs> We might, we might do that. Let me think about it. Here, let's, uh, let's get this. 
And we'll stick it... We'll just put it right there. Oh man, it's so nice that we found that too. This has been a damn good episode, you guys. <laughs> it really has. Uh, does it pull? Yes, it does. Oh man, that's even better. Okay, so we'll do the brass, we'll do the lead. Okay, good. Now let's um, let's put this on our chest piece. And let's also put this on our chest piece too. That gives us three more slots. It's a beautiful thing. What is this? This is a rogue outfit. Now that's something we're gonna sell. Um Do we have enough to make oh yeah, we do have enough to make schematics. Alright, so let's make another melee. And another uh machine gun. We had just one more of each of those. We could even do another, but that's okay. We'll we'll get there. Okay, while we're waiting on that stuff, let's take a look at this tier one. Okay, and this is oh another tier one, and this is melee mods bundle. All right, so we have two burning shafts. We'll sell that. We have no extra shovel or dirt digger thingy, so we'll keep that. I've got three wood splitters. I think we'll sell those. We'll put all of the gun parts in here because we're going to need them for gun upgrades. We'll put the mod <coughs> thingy there, and that's a mod thingy. Let's read the axe book and the machine gun book. And where are we at with those? Let's take a look-see. Alright, so axes were 36, machine guns were 72. So we're actually starting to catch up um, to machine guns on the axes. Because I'm starting to be more intentional about using it, you know I mean? If we're going to do it, let's do it, right? Even though I don't really like the axe as a melee weapon, it's, it's what we have. And so we're going to make do. And we're going to make it work. And we're going to be successful at it. And you're going to like it. All of you are. Yeah, that was that was a damn good haul, man. And there we go. Ah, beautiful. So, we need to make calcium chloride. We need... I think I have a beaker. I, well, I have one on the chem bench, if nothing else. Uh, and we need to make hydrochloric acid. And we need to make... Activated charcoal. Do I have an extra beaker? Uh, do, 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 do. I do not. So what we're going to have to do for the time being is we're just going to have to swap out the beaker in the Kim bench uh, with this one. See, I can make hydrochloric in here, though, too. So that's... Here, let's track that. That's three salt and one normal acid. This is four salt and two acid. Oh, yeah, okay, so we definitely want to make the hydrochloric in the Kim bench. For sure. Okay. Um, how much hydrochloric acid do I actually have? Uh, oh, we got 36. Okay. I don't even think we need to make any of that for, for the moment. We will eventually have to. And we got 59 acid. Okay, so let's put... Uh, did, I, did I not grab the beaker out of here? I guess I didn't. We'll be on the lookout for another one of those. Thought I had another one. Oh, you want a cooking pot too? Okay, no problem. Guess what? We have an extra cooking pot. And I... Guess I'm keeping empties in here. Right. Okay. So... we uh, Calcium chloride. We need that. So... Alright, so I'm going to have to... Um, 
I'm going to have to make some jars in the forge. Go get a bunch of boiled water. And uh, we have tons of limestone fragrance and a decent amount of hydrochloric. to make the calcium chloride. And then we use the calcium chloride and ground charcoal and more boiled water to make activated charcoal. Man, this is, this is a lot. <laughs> uh, Ramsey's really making us work for this stuff, but it's worth it. I mean, that red tea and the beer and all of it is just amazing. Uh, so it's going to be, well, actually, we don't even need activated charcoal for beer. We need hops, which I have not found very many of. But we're well on our way. Oh, man, that was good. We found the shredder and another tabletop stove in this episode. We killed the two seekers, ladies and gentlemen. We got another airdrop. We did a purge. We got the base fixed up. Things are going pretty damn good at this point in time. Will they remain that way? Who knows? But I think I'm going to leave you in this episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.